Hi, Tom Heibel here. Hey, we're going to do a short little intro video on this little piece right here. Now, this is the Sticky Pod Director. Obviously, this is the main hub that sets everything up so you can uh, mount your large cameras to any vehicle out there. You name it, cars, trucks, boats. You know that these things are really versatile. First, we start out with this bolt right here. You see that bolt? Let me get that up close for you. That bolt right there is a 3 8 inch specially made stainless steel bolt. Just to give you an idea of how much thought I've put into the Sticky Pod Director, think about this for a moment. This bolt costs $9. That's how much it costs me to get this bolt. You go to your local hardware store, you'll see a bolt like this, or a bolt this size, 3 8 inch, is about 21 cents. So anyways, that's how much thought I put into the Sticky Pod Director. Extremely tough and durable bolt. It's going to last you forever. Take a look at the main central hub here. I mean, look at this. 38 individual CNC cuts just to make this one piece. Look at all those mounting points in there. You see all those? Those come in really handy so you can set up anything you want. All right. Let's take a look at what you do first. First... You take your bolt, you run your bolt right through the center here of your sticky pod director, just like that. Okay, so then you'll see it sticking out the top right there. Now what you want to do with your sticky pod director is you want to mount some sort of a professional video tripod head or some type of a plate so that you can then mount a video head to it. Um, in some cases you might mount your camera directly to the sticky pod director, which you can do, but it's going to be very time consuming and it's going to take an awful long time to get the kind of angles and the shots that you want. So in this case, we're going to take a Manfrotto 501. Now this is what I sell on our website. Now this is the old version. This is not the new 501 HDV that you get on the website. Okay, this is the old model. This one I've had for, no, oh, I don't know, four or five years now. So anyways, we're going to put this Manfrotto 501, which as you can see, has a flat base right here, and it's got a 3 8 inch mounting socket right up the center. So if you have a flat base and the 3 8 inch mounting hole like you see here, you can use whatever video head you have. It doesn't have to be a Manfrotto. It can be anything, okay? And you can use that on your Sticky Pod Director. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this video head mounted to the Sticky Pod Director hub. And that's very simple. All you're going to do is just screw that bolt into place, like so. And then once it's in place, uh, the Sticky Pod Director, the hub piece here, has the same set screws just like a professional tripod head has so that the video head cannot move okay so once these set screws are locked down into place they're kind of hard to see on camera there but those two set screws right in there once they're locked down into place this thing cannot rotate unless you loosen up the base and rotate it yourself okay so that's the only way that it can rotate. So if I were to loosen up the base, then I would be able to rotate it myself with the set screws locked down into place. You know how these things work, these fluid video heads. Okay, now you'll notice I took the handle off my 501. I just did that so I could get everything in the picture here. But that's where it starts. Now, let's take a look at the very next step you need to take in order to get your sticky pod director set up properly. The next thing you need to do is you need to take a knuckle, okay, one of the sticky pod knuckles, and always, 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 always remove this lock washer right here, this locking nut, this round nut, okay? So your knuckle will look like this, okay? Then we're going to attach it to one of the sticky pod bases like so just like so okay once this is locked down into place you then loosen up the thumb screw that right there is the thumb screw this piece right here that rotates you can see me moving it a little bit there that's the thumb screw right there 
once uh, this is locked down into place, tightened down, you loosen up this thumb screw and then you can rotate this piece and most importantly, you can adjust this ball mount right here on the top so that you can position it wherever you want to and also you can screw in the extensions you can put the extensions into the hub of the sticky pod director all right so then I would attach one of the extensions like so once again I'm gonna to have to tighten up that thumb screw so I can get the extension on there tight then I'm gonna loosen the thumb screw back up again okay so this is what I have I've got this piece this extension right here and then of course I've got the knuckle as you can see and you can see I can turn it and the knuckles not loosening up from the base the top the top half and the bottom half of the sticky pod knuckle are two separate pieces so that's why it doesn't move anyways so once uh, once I have everything tightened up I can then spin it around rotate it and most importantly for the director I can rotate see how I'm turning the extension because now I put this end into that director hub and tighten everything into place. Now, once that's down and in place, I tighten that thumb screw back up, I'm all done. Now I do that three times because you gotta have three sticky pod bases and then you're all set to go. So now you might be asking yourself, well Tom, how do you know where to put your sticky pod director? I mean, where, how do you get there? Okay, we're gonna take our original setup, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to my vehicle, whatever it happens to be, and I'm physically going to hold the camera or, or the, the hub just the way it is. No extensions on it, nothing. I'm going to hold this right where I want the camera, and I'm going to say, okay, that's where I want the camera to be. Now, depending on the vehicle you have, whether you know, it could be a big truck, could be a small car, it doesn't matter, okay, because the Sticky Pod Director works on everything. Okay, now what I do is I take a look at where I've got this positioned, and then I take a look at uh, where the car is in relationship to where I need this to be, and then I figure out what my appropriate uh, extensions are and such. In most cases, you may only need one or two of the 12-inch extensions. Uh, you might have to combine a few extensions together if you've got to really stretch things out. And then what you want to do is you want to use adjacent sides. So we're going to use the side of the car and we're going to use the windshield or the roof or uh, the hood. You know, just depending on where the camera is going to sit in relation to uh, the driver or the passenger or sometimes you... Now, if you want to put it just on the hood itself and all three bases are down on the hood, that's great. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you want to avoid putting a real heavy camera like a Sony F900 and all three of the bases, say, on the side of the car, okay? In that case, you might just, you, it's not that the sticky pod will let loose, it's just that there's too much weight being uh, held on by a single plane, okay, just by the side of the car. If you're using two planes, like the windshield and the side of the car, then it's going to handle that much weight with no troubles and you're not going to get all the vibrations and the bounce and everything else that, that you get. All right, well, hey, that's it for our little intro here. I'm going to get out to the car on the next video and show you exactly how to set it up from there, what I'm looking at, and basically just going to plant into your head what I'm thinking. All right, we'll see you real soon. Thank you.